host, Joey Patone from Universal Atlanta Resort in sunny Florida. And now, here's the star of our show. Give it up for Steve Harvey! Welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm Steve Harvey. We got two great families. We got the Turk family playing against the Howard family for a chance to win a whole lot of cash and a shot at a brand new car. Let's give away some money. But to give it away, we got to play. Let's go. Give me Kathy. Give me Melton. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, here we go. We got the top seven answers are on the board. Tell me a traffic sign that best describes your love life. Melton, stop sign. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. You, you win some more money, something will happen. Okay. Stop sign. You wanna pass or play? They're gonna play, Kathy. Brandy, how you doing? Good, I'm great. Good, I know, I know, I know. You guys are some pretty good players, so let's get to it. Tell me a traffic sign that best describes your love life. Well, I am a newlywed, so it is go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's the part that just... <laughs> Yeah, your little daughter that grew up. <laughs> now she on national TV. <laughs> yeah! He tried! Yeah, you had to hear that too, though. <laughs> All right, let's go. Go! Yeah. Yvonne, how you doing? Doing good. What do you think? Okay, I already have two kids, so this is okay for me to say, slippery when wet. <laughs> oh, God! <no. laughs> Stop it. Stop it. We are trying to stay on the air. <laughs> Little Miss Fast thing over here. <laughs> Slippery when it's wet. <laughs> Robin? Yes, I think I have got it because they haven't heard it enough, obviously, and I'm gonna say caution. <laughs> no? <laughs> it ain't going good for you. <laughs> Stop caution. What's... Caution! <laughs> This is gonna be a good answer right here. <laughs> Student, bouncer, <laughs> Milton Jr. <laughs> Tell me a traffic sign that best describes your love life. Well, what every guy should do in the relationship is yield. <laughs> <laughs> yield! <laughs> Man. Milton, back to you. This is getting better now. <laughs> Definitely a hazardous road. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, hey man. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Hang in there. Hang in there. Even if these answers ain't up there, you pretty much nailed in your love life. Hazardous Road. <laughs> well, little sexy Brandy, you can save it for the family. Two strikes. If it's there, you're still in shape. If not, Turk family, get ready to steal. Brandy? Four way intersection. <laughs> what the hell is happening at your house? Intersection. <laughs> okay, Turk family, it's your chance to steal. Get on the board first. Tell me the traffic sign that best describes your love life. 
Do not enter. Wow. <laughs> this is ugly. For the points, do not enter. <laughs> Melton, Melton, Melton. Let's pay attention here. All this, all these are for you. Yes, sir. Number four. <laughs> slow. Oh. Number five. One way. Number seven. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's move on to question two. Give me Bob, give me Brandy, let's go. Uh, ladies, we got the top four answers on the board. Name something men never remember that women never forget. Brandy. Keys. Keys. <laughs> Bob. Anniversary. Anniversary. <laughs> They're gonna play. Diane, how you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Let's go, name something men never f remember that women never forget. Birthdays. Good. Birthdays! Yeah. Pam, how you doing? Good. What do you do, darling? I work for the Postal Service. Oh, okay, good. Well, we'll just get on to the question. Don't wanna <laughs> upset you or anything. Name, <laughs> name something men never remember that women never forget. I think how old you are. How hey, old you hey, are? Hey, yeah. Rose, how you doing? Very good. Good, what do you do? I am a human resource officer for a major state institution in the northern half of Illinois. <laughs> okay, key word in that sentence was <laughs> state institution. Learning. Oh, yeah, learning institution. Oh, learning is okay. <laughs> Obviously, I'm letting out a lot about myself. Uh, you say state institution to me, I think visitation. <laughs> you know, just little stuff like yeah. that. You know, solitary confinement, <laughs> just some little stuff, not, anyway. Name something men never remember that women never forget. Uh, school events of their children. Children's oh, school yeah. events. <laughs> Two strikes, Kathy. If it's oh, there, man. you're still alive. Howard family, get ready to steal. Name something men never remember that women never forget. Their name. <laughs> <laughs> Their name. <laughs> Melton. Let's go. Name something men never remember that women never forget. Directions. <laughs> Directions. <laughs> Let's see number three. <laughs> number four. That's a true statement. We got a tight with Turk 79, Howard Family 70. Remember, the goal is 300 points, so don't go away. We'll be right back, okay? Uh-huh. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. We got a good one, the Turk Family 79, the Howard 70. Give me Diane, give me Yvonne, let's go. Ladies, point values have doubled on this one. We have the top five answers on the board. Here we go. Besides a fortune teller, name something that tells your fortune. Yvonne. Tarot cards. Excuse me? Tarot cards. Oh, tarot cards. Okay. <laughs> Diane? Ouija board. Ouija board. <laughs> you control it, Yvonne. We're gonna play. They're gonna play. It's gonna be a good one. I have no answers for this one. Robin? A fortune cookie. A fortune cookie. <laughs> this is gonna be the best answer right here. <laughs> <laughs> Melton Jr., besides a fortune teller, name something that tells your fortune. Your palm line. <laughs> your palm. That was a good answer. That was a good answer. Melton, besides a fortune teller, name something that tells your fortune. Uh, crystal ball. Yeah. The crystal ball. <laughs> Only one strike, Brandy. A mood ring, because it 
can tell you if you're rich. A what? <laughs> a mood <laughs> ring. Good answer. Wow. Good answer. Good answer. Good. That's a good answer. And then, last time you saw a mood ring. <laughs> Last time I got my fortune told. <laughs> Last time you got your fortune told. Yes. <laughs> the mood ring. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I thought it was up there. I'm so surprised. <laughs> Yvonne, we got two strikes here. Turk family, get ready to steal. Besides a fortune teller, name something that tells your fortune. Your horoscope. Your horoscope. Horoscope. <laughs> well, the Howard family, 264. The Turk family, 79. Still anybody's game. We'll be right back to see who wins it right after this. Don't go away. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Howard family have 264. The Turk family, 79. Give me Pam, give me Robin. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies, point values have tripled. Top four <laughs> answers are on the board. We asked 100 married women, name something you might ask your spouse to do to your back. <laughs> Pam. Rub it. Rub it. Pass the play. They're gonna play, Robert. <laughs> Ladies, this is for the money, so let's go. We ask 100 married women. Name something you might ask your spouse to do to your back. Put lotion on it. Put lotion on it. <laughs> that was a good answer. Kathy? Scratch it. Scratch it. <laughs> Only one strike, Bob. We ask 100 married women. Name something you might ask your spouse to do to your back. Kiss it. Oh, I see you. I, I, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you, girl. All right, now. How many kids you got? Four. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Gotta mm -hmm. get a baby. Gotta get a baby. Kiss that back. Kiss. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Kiss it. Wow. Diane. Crack it. Ooh. <laughs> Crack it. <laughs> Pam, two strikes. If it's there, you win. If it's not there, the Howard family can steal and win. Walk on it. Good. Good answer. Good answer. I don't, I don't know. Um, how small your man is, but <laughs> really can't see myself walking on my wife back. <laughs> <laughs> it could be there, though. For the win, walk on it! <laughs> Howard family, if it's there, you Still, you win. If it's not there, the Turk family wins. Melton, we ask 100 married women, name something you might ask your spouse to do to your back. Wash it. Yeah. Wash it for the win! playing Fast Money. Come on, Yvonne and Robin. I know who's playing. Hey, we'll be right back to play Fast Money. The girls are going after it. Hey, welcome back to The Feud, everybody. The Howard family won the game, and right now, it's time to play Fast Money! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Yvonne, before we get started, here's someone that'd like to wish you luck. Hi, I'm Jesse from Massachusetts, and I'm here with the Howard family. Yvonne and Mrs. Howard, I don't need a psychic to tell me there's money in your future. Good luck on Fast Money. And remember, you win five games, and you're already real close. You win the brand new car. <laughs> hey, Yvonne, Robin is off stage. Uh, she can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm gonna ask you five questions. 
in 20 seconds. Uh, try to give the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass. If we have enough time, we'll get back to it, okay? Then if you and Robin put it together and come up with 200 points, tell everybody what you're gonna win. Go ahead, do your thing. $20,000! Yeah, 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 you got to like it like that. <laughs> You ready? I'm ready. Okay, 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock is gonna start after I read the first question. Good luck, go get them, okay? Name an age when people begin having trouble remembering things. 50. Name the toughest sport to train for. Football. Give me a man's name that's three letters long. Bob. Name something toddlers have a hard time doing on their own. Walking. Name a type of dip people eat with chips. Onion. Skill right here. That girl right there, boy. That's a bad girl right there. That girl can play. This girl right here can play, man. She is a really, really good player. Let's see how well she did. Name an age when people begin having trouble remembering things. You said 50. I'm 53. <laughs> Survey says? Uh-huh. I said, name the toughest sport to train for. You said? Football, survey said. Uh-huh. Give me a man's name that's three letters long. You said? Bob, survey says. Uh-huh. I said, name something toddlers might have a hard time doing on their own. You said? Walking, survey said. Uh-huh. I said, name a type of dip people eat with chips. You said? Onion, survey said. Wow, look at you, girl. Well, let's clear the board. Let's bring out Robin, see what we got here. Boy, she hands it to us. Yeah. Robin? Yes. She did it again. She put a good number out there. She got right. 123 points on the board. Good job. Good All job, baby girl. Seven. Good job. Robin, Robin, I need you to focus now. Yes. All you need is 77 points. We can okay, do this. We can We're going to give you $20,000, okay? I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate any of the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'm going to say try again. You'll give me another answer, okay? okay. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, so I'm going to give you 25 seconds, okay? Thank you. All right, Les, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everyone of Yvonne's answer. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Name an age when people begin having trouble remembering things. 40. Name the toughest sport to train for. Track. Name a man's name that's three letters long. Tim. Name something toddlers have a hard time doing on their own. Pass. Name a type of dip people eat with chips. Onion. <laughs> Try again. Dill. Name something toddlers have a hard time doing on their own. Walking. Try again. Crawling. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, we need what? 77 points. Let's go. I said, name an age when people began having trouble remembering things. You said? 40. Survey said? Eight. Number one answer was 50. Name the toughest sport to train for. You said? Track. And it is. Survey says? Number one answer was boxing. Okay. I said, give me a man's name that's three letters long. You said? Tim. Survey says. Oh. Number one answer was Bob. I said, name something toddlers have a hard time doing on their own. You said? Crawling. Survey says. Oh. Number one answer was walking. I said, name a type of dip that people eat with chips. You said? Deal. It's good. Survey says? Oh. The number one answer was onion. Onion was the number one answer. Wow. $5 a point, $715. But a great total, though, for a day, 22510 But guess what? They'll be coming right back to play more Family Feud on another show. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time. To plan your next Orlando vacation, go to visitorlando.com.